FireTech firing system has a new firing module. The FTQ has all the same features and flexibility as the FTH module, is fully compatible with all FireTech devices, and adds some additional features. As a slave module to the FireTech controller or other master device, it can fire a program script with or without audio and be fired manually, which I'll demonstrate here. The FTQ module can be set up as a master module and can be slaved with other devices. Here, we'll use the FTQ module to run a script that's loaded into both of these. We'll arm the system, and they've both been armed, and put them into play. And we can pause it also and put them both back into test. Even as just a standalone module, you could run cables out from the module and start and run scripts with just a single module and the forward and backwards buttons on the panel. It has a USB port that allows you to use a standard USB charger. You can also add external power with a USB battery pack or even charge the battery with any USB device. You're also able to use the USB to connect to a tablet with a FireTech application, giving you additional capabilities. The USB port is also used to connect to a computer and it has the ability to connect directly to a USB mouse. And also, you can use the USB port to load a script with a USB drive. Do you like to use timecode? The FTQ module also is timecode capable and it can also generate timecode. Now that it's armed, we'll start the timecode. And I can even pause it and continue it with something as simple as an MP3 device. Besides audio timecode, internally it has a GPS receiver and can work on GPS timecode. It also has an external trigger that allows it to be controlled by pulses from any other system. This allows the FTQ module to add functionality to other systems as an intelligent sequencer for both Pyro and DMX. It also allows you to add audio control to any other system. I have already armed this, and although this could be pulsed from any other system, I'm just going to demonstrate this here with a 9 volt battery. So put it into play, put it into pause, again we can continue it. The FTQ module also has the ability to be controlled by a small RF remote. This has been pre-learned to this module. With a small RF remote, you can control a whole pyro musical with just the small remote. I've got the audio file loaded into this Android device and I can put this into ARM and control the show with just the small remote. I put it into play, the music is starting and the script is running. I can pause it and continue it. Also with the small remote, you can step fire 
through the rails. So I'll put this back into ARM. I don't have a program loaded on this case and I am just going to step fire through the rails. The small remote also allows crews to safely disable firing of select modules if needed but also provides an economical means to get started with scripted and step firing for simple shows or backyard pyro musicals. Compared to the FTH module, the FTQ module, which is even more capable, is actually smaller. Both of these are about the size of a paperback book. This makes it easy to ship and transport a very large number of cues. It has the same large backlit LCD screen as the prior FireTech equipment. And the screen continues to provide real-time information at a glance. Across the top, we have the wireless information, physical two-wire information, battery, firing voltage. We've got the ID and the mode of the module and if a program is loaded. And in this case, it's a program with DMX. And if you're not familiar with FireTech, it provides continuous real-time monitoring of the rails and queues without having to continually push a test button. And the FTQ increases the firing queues or channels from 12 to 16. And the module will be available in a 16 one rail configuration, 32, two rail configuration, or the 64 Q configuration is shown here with four rails. The FTQ module will be available with modular options to swap out the internal boards for 24 or 48 Q configurations with the 12 Q rails. And if you happen to be running both 12Q and 16Q rails. The system is smart enough to tell you that you have the wrong rail connected. And here it says 12 channel rail and gives you an error. For demonstration, we're gonna go ahead and restart this and put it into master mode. And we're gonna activate the USB host function. And we're gonna connect a USB mouse. You can daisy chain the 16Q rails, allowing you to fire across multiple positions off the same Q. And you can easily extend these rails apart. That gives you lots of capability for a backyard shooter with just a single module. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this into ARM. And with the mouse, if you happen to be using the mouse to fire a show, and you could run cables quite a length from the module out into the field, you do have the option to go to manually fire, where with the mouse, you're able to scroll through and select specific cues and fire them if you want. But we're gonna to go to automatic fire here to fire the script. So we're armed and we're gonna go ahead with the left mouse button, LB, we're gonna start the script. And there you go, you can see that those fired in parallel as expected. Also with the modular design of the module, you can easily open up the module and add options that are inserted within the module. Also, if needed, the modular design allows for quick repair or replacement of parts where everything is simply just plug and play. For example, we can remove the whole RJ45 board if necessary and replace it if it happens to get damaged. The housing is a fiberglass construction similar to the FTH module, 
But now, with many of the panels twice as thick, adding additional robustness to the housing. The battery is an internal LiPo with 24 hour standby and is charged with the USB-C port. It allows convenient charging and as mentioned, you can use an external battery pack to add additional standby time and firing power. The USB charging and external battery are always available. There is no need to power off the module. You just plug in the power to the charging source. If needed, even when it is operating a script. Internal to the module is the FireTech power board with 1.5 farads of capacitance providing up to 28 volts and up to 10 amps of firing power, allowing it to fire up to 10 igniters in parallel or 25 in series. The FTQ module can be optioned with DMX. This allows the operation of flame machines, CO2 devices, lights, and other compatible items. The FTQ script now includes DMX value ramping to allow smooth dimming and motion control. The script now includes additional product and zoning options that both aid in the setup and allow quick disabling of safety zones. The script can be loaded via computers, Android devices, the controller, and directly through a USB drive. With the script loaded, the module channel status menu provides additional information from the script. Here we see the rail, the channel, the firing time, the sequence, the status, we've got good continuity, and it's also measuring the resistance and calculating the firing current, as well as what the product is, if that's programmed into the script. I've restarted this as a slave. Now we'll go ahead and put this into ARM and play the script. I should also point out that the FireTech system maintains its sequences, essentially allowing you to have numerous alternate scripts that can be run in parallel with a primary script. This module is also able to be configured and has a number of settings. You can set the ID time, the time code generation, your time zone for GPS and GPS start time, options for the power button, you can adjust your impulse time if you need to for any unique situations, you can adjust it to Talon mode, you can completely disable the small remote, the external trigger, and you can do a complete factory reset. For the next generation of firing equipment available now, Please check out the FireTech website at firetechfiringsystems.com and check out additional videos on the FireTech Firing System YouTube channel.